Mmm, tastes like progress. Hey everyone, I'm Jason Lucas and welcome to Pond Beaver. What the hell is Pond Beaver? Well, normally this time of year we'd be heading on down to California to Sea Otter to check out the latest and greatest mountain bike products, but there's a global pandemic going on, so that's not happening. So we decided, hey, let's throw our own virtual trade show. As Tom Bradshaw would say, how good. So today we're gonna go to a bunch of booths and check out some new mountain bike products for 2021. Let's get started. All right, we're here at the Race Face booth, pretty sparsely decorated, but that's okay. And we're checking out the new Next SL handlebar. And while handlebars don't look very visually exciting, there's some pretty interesting things going on here. For starters, Race Face is calling this the world's lightest 35 millimeter clamp handlebar at just 167 grams. And on top of that, they're also saying it's more compliant and narrower than their current Next 35 bar. Yes, narrower. Now, 740 millimeters wide wouldn't fit someone of my size, but I think a lot of smaller riders would feel right at home with this width. And on top of that, it would be a lot more compliant than cutting down a handlebar from 800 millimeters. But what does compliant even mean and how is Raceface addressing this so-called compliance? Well, they say they've added material at the front and back of the handlebar, which should increase vertical compliance up and down while maintaining fore and aft stiffness, which is like left and right turning. All of this should add up to reduced hand and forearm fatigue, which is something that a lot of overly stiff 35 millimeter handlebars can cause. So if you're looking for an insanely light, relatively narrow handlebar, the Race Face Next SL can be yours for $179 US. All right, on to the next booth. All right, we're here at the VHS booth, little low key, but I like it. We've got their Slapper Tape 2.0 here. Does your bike sound like a shopping cart? Don't love the look of an old tube on your chainstay? Well, VHS's Slapper Tape could be the solution for you. It's made of a rubber silicon compound with these little air bubbles here that will really help dampen the sound your chain makes when it's slapping around. Now, these actually came out a couple of months ago, but they sold out right away. Right now, they're available for pre-order on their site for $44.95 New Zealand dollars. Not exactly cheap, but this tape looks a whole lot better than some of the other homebrew solutions out there. Okay, let's fast forward to the next product. New booth, new product. This is FSA's KFX Crank. And while we've seen glimpses of these in the past, the news here is now that they're actually available. The cranks are made out of aluminum, but manufactured in a pretty unique way. FSA takes two blocks of aluminum, forges them, CNC's them down, and then glues them together to form the crank arm. This isn't the first time we've seen this. In fact, it's the same way pole bicycles make some of their bikes, but here it is in a crank arm, and the result is a lightweight but stiff set of cranks. For comparison's sake, the FSA crank set weighs in at 520 grams with a 30 tooth ring, and the equivalent Shimano XT crank set weighs in at 622 grams. The crank arms come in 170 and 175 millimeter lengths with chain rings ranging in size from 28 to 38 teeth. And the price, $420 US. Very nice. On to the next product. Now we may not be in California, but with today's temperatures, it sure feels like it. Luckily, I've stumbled across Polar Bottle's all new breakaway insulated water bottle. Now I know what you're saying, a new water bottle, really? And I'd have to agree with you, but this one is actually pretty sweet. It's insulated, like I mentioned, so the water you put in before your ride should stay cold throughout the day. And it also comes in sizes from 12 to 24 ounces, like you see here. Now, if you have a tight front triangle, that 12 ounce stubby version should fit in there pretty nicely. Other features include this little muck protector. That's always nice to see. Prices start at $16 US, very reasonable, and they're available right now. Okay, enough hydrating, more products. Have you ever looked at your pedals and thought, those look way too sturdy? Yeah, me neither. We covered Titanum's insanely light Mai Tai Ultras on the homepage a few weeks ago, but now we have them in our hands. The pair of these pedals weighs in at just 102 grams. Couple that with the cleats that weigh in at 46 grams, and that's over 70 grams lighter than the next roadie offering. The pedals use a leaf spring system to clip in and out of, which our head of editorial Brian Park classifies as feeling a little on ice, kind of like old speed plays, but he says clipping in and out is pretty intuitive with release being just a tad bit harder than SPDs. Titanum is gonna offer these for around 329 euros once they come to market. We, not me, 
are gonna be testing these over the next few months, so stay tuned for a full review. Don't worry, flat pedal riders, we have scary light pedals for you too. Our very own Brian Park has turned into a bit of a 3D printing mad scientist over winter and has created these. They're 195 grams for the pair and they're constructed from plastic and Nuke Proof's Sam Hill titanium spindles. The platform measures 95 by 120 millimeters, which makes them a decent amount longer than most flat pedals out there. That usually equates to more grip, which Brian actually says is maybe a little too much grip. We're gonna find a willing sacri I mean, test rider to put these under for the next few months and report back on how they do. All right, six new mountain bike products for you all. Stay tuned and subscribe for more coverage from our virtual trade show, including a new bike or two. See you next time.